Hello, this is Tofu from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to do an introduction to a, an, an add-on called Simply Cloth Pro. It's not free, but it works really pretty good. I'll leave a link of the uh, for the download in the description below this video. But this is just an introduction to the the add-on. Uh, a few things you have to keep in mind is one, when you import. Uh, you want to apply the the add-on to a mesh. Make sure that your model, your mesh, is in a T pose. That's the best way to, to do it. If you try to um, apply the cloth with your model, probably with the arms down, it's going to cause some issues <coughs> with the add-on. In terms of, it'll start cutting out holes where holes shouldn't be. So the best way you can apply the or use the add-on on a model is in T pose. So we're going to, it's just, and to download it, it's just the same process. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, to install it into Blender, go to Edit, Preferences. I'm going to wait for this to come up. Click on Install. <coughs> Navigate to it before you've, you've downloaded it onto your computer. Once you've ne uh, located it, click on it, press Install Add-on. And once that's been done, yeah, you just uh, put a check in the box. Let me see if I spelled that right. Ah, oh, there it is. Put a check in the box, and that keeps it activated. Now I'm bl using Blender 2.92. And once you've uh, installed it and everything, you just choose the cloth you want to choose. It has a lot of presets in it. So I'm going to go with uh, this t shirt. I'm going to click on that, and uh, there's the the model itself, or the model of the t-shirt. Now it's got a lot of presets here that you can use, but for the sake of this tutorial, since it's just an introduction to the add-on, I'm going to leave all this the way it is. I'm just point out just specific things you just keep your eye out for. I'm going to click on our move gizmo, press there on our keyboard to go into the side view. I'm going to pull this down. And when you're using this add-on, you have to you have to pretty much uh, position the cloth where you want it to be. You don't want your model, uh, the mesh of your model, peeking through the mesh of the cloth. That's going to cause some issues. So in order to fix that, we're going to go to we're going to expand it backwards. Press S Y on your keyboard, just to make it a little bit longer uh, from the side view. Going to pull this forward. Want to make sure that the t-shirt or whatever cloth we're wanting to work with doesn't touch the model at all. Go back to the front view by pressing 1. Now if we were to press play here it would uh, it wouldn't be there wouldn't be enough material for the t-shirt to actually wrap around our model. So we're going to press S and scale on the x-axis SX make a little bit wider and SZ to make a little bit taller Okay, I'm going to click on our model here and make it an active collision model or active collision uh, mesh. So pr pr click on active. I'm oh, sorry about that. I'm dealing with the fight against the cough, so I'm just trying to pretty much fight through it. It's a change in weather, just coughing and sneezing, so we're just going to just try to get through it anyway. I'm going to left click on our uh, t shirt mesh again. And we're going to press play and see what we get here. Press play. And it's going to shrink wrap itself onto our model. And that's done a pretty good job. And the good thing about this add-on is you can stop the simulation where you feel comfortable. Like right now, I feel that this t-shirt looks pretty good the way it is. So I'm going to press pause. I'm going to look around here. And that looks pretty good. Now, uh, keep in mind that you're going to have issues. I wouldn't say issues, but you have these little spaces here where the two, the front part and the back part, <coughs> are trying to connect to each other. But it's not doing it in a way that is seamless, so to speak, to where you can't see the, the connection. In order to fix that, we're going to go down to the advanced parameters and we're going to click on merge distance. Now you can change the parameter here, but 
from what I've seen from my own test with the add-on, 0.01 is a good default value. So click on merge and watch what happens here to the, the space here, merge distance. And that fixes that. Now you can see that there are a lot of parameters you can, you can work with here, but once again, this is just an introduction to the add-on. You can change the weight of the cloth, the quality of it, the steps. And when it comes to the quality, the higher you crank it up, the longer it's going to take, take to render this out. So you want to keep it at the default value of 5, which works good. Um, <clears throat> the shrinkage, you can increase the, uh, the wrinkles too. And that gives the cloth more realism. As we go down to the subdivision modifier, you can add a wireframe. You can look at it, a wireframe mode. And the level 0 is fine for it too, for this. For most of the simulations that I've seen, keeping it at the defaults works fine. Um, if you were to, let's say we apply, you can apply this, you can apply an animation, win animation tool, which works fine too. But that's a whole different series that you were going to look at later, possibly, because that's going to be a whole different tutorial with having to add um, animation to it. Because at this point, this cloth is just a mesh. It's not the cloth modifier hasn't been added to it. Even if you click on add wind to it, it'll add a uh, it'll add wind to it, but you'd still have to turn the cloth or the mesh into cloth. And I'll let you know what I'll, I'll explain that later. But to apply this, you just click on apply cloth, and now it's a mesh. The simulation is complete, and now it's a mesh. And here you can uh, increase subdivisions or, or reduce them. And what I've seen with this is that if you increase the subdivisions to it, and let's say you, you feel that it's too much, you want to decrease it back to what it was before by cl clicking on unsubdivide, you'll have some issues with the fact that there'll be like clusters of vertices gathering and it just stays that way. So the best thing you can do is just leave it as it is. Don't really touch any of this stuff in terms of the subdivisions cause, because the cloth looks great the way it is. You can look at the face orientation So, because for um, animation and for texturing your face needs to be facing outwards and facing the same way to correct that or to see where your faces are facing you just press this button you can see that the faces are facing outward which is where it was supposed to be. If it happens that the faces of the cloth are not facing in the right direction you can cl click on flip normals and I'll correct that. Now the sewing holes happen sometimes when you've sometimes got, you've, you've got a complex uh, piece of clothing and you start getting holes in your clothing this can fix that. Merge the distance and you can change the uh, parameters for that too. So this is just an introduction to uh, the Simply Cloth Pro uh, add-on. I'm going to click on done and that's going to finalize the cloth. Now what I was explaining before about the cloth being just a mesh and not actual cloth in terms of the uh, cloth modifier being applied to it. We have our the uh, cloth here selected, the t-shirt selected, okay? Now if we press add wind, it will add wind to it. But as, as I was saying earlier, it's not going to blow this mesh because this mesh isn't cloth. It's just a model of clothing. Now if we go to, let me see, go to the uh, physics properties, you can see here that the cloth is, or the t-shirt is selected, but here the cloth modifier hasn't been activated because this isn't cloth. It is, it's not a cloth simulation, it's just a model of a t-shirt. So in order for the wind part to work, in terms of it being blown, you have to click on whatever clothing you've made with the Simply Cloth Pro add-on and then click on cloth and then it's going to simulate when blowing the cloth. But like I said before, that's another tutorial for another day but this is just an introduction to the Simply Cloth Pro add-on and I hope that um, the explanation was helpful to those of you listening and that's our quick tip for today, the Simply Cloth Pro add-on and once again it's not a, it's not a free add-on that's uh, so paid, which is still good. It's still a great add-on. And uh, thanks you guys who have uh, been watching the add-ons or watching the uh, tutorials that I've been putting out. Really appreciate it. 
And thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are, are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.